Hey everyone, my name is Rui and we are here. This is going to be week number 7, I believe, of the ABL against the Lantern Leaf Yons. And he's, this will be the team that we played off against in week 1. And we got a very, very narrow victory, which ended up being a draw because of a mistake on my part. But we're back again. I think we have a much more focused team this time. And we have a very different team. But I'm just going to see whatever the heck I can do with this. I'm still not entirely sure how I feel about this team. But I think it has a lot of potential. I just want it to do well. Especially because um, the top end of the standings are really really tight right now and i definitely could end up missing out by a game or two and this is a game that i feel like i definitely need and i'm just gonna have to see how this goes but we are in fact here with all unique items and i am incredibly incredibly nervous there is so much to think about in this matchup but i'm just gonna get into it i'm really excited to see whatever the heck he brings i'd be curious to see how much he changes it up between matches but we will see the mewtwo in dd uh both of the really scary cores the Mewtwo Indeedee, and the Gigalith Excadrill. So, right off the bat, okay, so I kind of did expect him to want to bring the Toxapex here. Um, doesn't bring the Noivern, which is really, really interesting to me. Doesn't bring the Noivern. Uh, that actually really surprises me here. However, 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 however. Um, yeah, I really did expect to see the Noivern. I kind of, um, constructed my leads thinking that the Noivern would be there. But instead, I think we still lead the, off this thing. And I think... I think we also do this. Mm. This, yeah, this might be what we do here. I don't know. I'm not the most confident, but I think we can manage it reasonably well. I don't know. I don't know. Uh... And not having the Noivern is really unexpected, in particular because, um, ultimately my, my plan was going to be to, uh, even if he had the Psychic Terrain up, I could Thunder Wave into the Noivern and Dragon Pulse into it for Eternal 1 KO. It, it prevents a lot, it, prevent, it would prevent him from getting a strong hit off turn 1, it would prevent him from Tailwinding, but does lead off with the Mewtwo and Didi, which is exactly what I was afraid of, but... We are here. We are here. Uh, that's kind of what I thought he would want to lead. I have seen him lead this off in the past. And in the absence of Noivern, this is kind of what I thought I would see. Now, what kind of damage is my Ferrothorn doing here? Uh, Ferrothorn Gyro Ball should do about half. This thing could have a Fire Blast on it. That would be super unfortunate. I think I might want to... I think I would U-turn here and protect here, but this would be such a, such an awesome opportunity to ladder wave as well. Although, although yeah, uh, fire blast would be much more scary. So I can kind of scout out the fire blast here, um, and if I still feel like I want to thunder wave, then I can just thunder wave next turn and see whatever the heck happens there. Um, the main takeaway is that this should prevent double expanding force, which is obviously the thing that I'm most concerned about right now. And overall, I think this is going to kind of put me in the best position. So we, so no protects off on his side. Um, based goes for the follow me, which is again uh, kind of what I uh, thought that I would see here. Now this honestly makes me think that it, uh, that I will. See, oh, the nasty plot. Okay, I was going to say this does kind of make me think that I will see the 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 fire blast coming in. But I will just get a U turn off here. Uh, it does it right around half, which is fine. But now I have to figure out what the heck I want to do here. I have to figure out how in the world I'm going to manage this. I could... I think I have to just do this. I think I have to just do this. And this is the thing, right? So I think I'm going to sandblast here. And I think now I can safely Thunder Wave into the Mewtwo. I think, um, I think he's going to want to attack into my... Santaconda. I think we take one hit, um, and this honestly is not ideal because I really did want to go into, I really did want to bring an assault vest into this matchup, um, but I didn't end up doing that um, in my final team building scenarios. So what I'm hoping happens here is that I'm able to KO the if he if he follows me again, then I can KO the Indeedee. Um Mewtwo can get a strong hit off on my. Anaconda, and I can get a Thunder Wave off. Goes for the Expanding Force. That is a straight Oko. 
that is worst case scenario. Although I don't think um, I don't think I can get KO'd with with a, it's a life orb. I don't think I can KO'd with it unless he has the mystical fire. Yeah, this is bad. I just I, I I just lose. I don't win. I don't win anymore. Uh, this is potentially just really bad. I don't know what I can do here. Um, hmm. I can do this. And I can do this. Yeah, I just don't think I win anymore. I think this just beats me. But, I don't know. I don't yet know. I can... I can U-turn again, which I think is fine, and I can protect here. Um, still three turns. Yeah, what I really needed to do was Thunder Wave on turn one with my Ferrothorn, and I would have been in a really solid position, I think. But, oh, the fact that I didn't just hurts me so much. It just hurts me so much here. But there's the Aura Sphere, and there's no reason this Mewtwo just doesn't destroy me right now. Yeah. I think I just lose. I really want to forfeit. Like, I, like, I, look, this doesn't. I don't think there's anything that I really do here. I really don't think there's anything that I do here. Um. Mm. I mean, I can do this, and then. I don't know. I don't know what I do. If I protect here, then I can just try to hit the Me Too a little bit. Like I, like I just don't know what I do here. Um, I was never really well equipped for this type of lead, but again, it, it, I, I, I'm, I'm just at a complete loss. I just don't know. I'm just at a complete loss. I mean, if this foul play KOs, then that would be game changing. Or no. I'm going to just attempt a double protect. And if it doesn't work out, then I'm in a very bad position here. Uh, I think I get 6 0 if, if I don't hit this double protect, which I don't. Uh, and it's fine. It's going to be 6 0. It's, it's, it's totally fine. Um,. Like I said, I just don't think that I was ever really well prepared for this type of scenario. Um, the team that I had was just never well equipped for this. I, I kind of geared my team to kind of deal with the sand core more and hope that I would have enough resources in the in the end game to kind of deal with the Mewtwo the way that kind of it did last time. But there was really nothing that I could have done. I don't think with the team that I brought. I, I definitely think that I could have done other things differently. But I don't know. I don't know. It was it, it was always going to be tough no matter what happened, right? Because I had so few resources for this aggressive of a lead. And does have the flamethrower as well. Um But yeah, I mean that I mean that that's gonna be week seven. I uh, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back really, really soon with more weeks of the APL. And um I, to be frank, this is probably also my, my playoff chances as well. But uh there'll be other leagues that, there'll be more weeks of the UBL and um, more weeks of other things to come. But once again, with that thing is so much for watching once again. Out.